I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Chairman Material, or at least Captain. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. Levels two and three. Someone has to spool the wires, I suppose.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines and prepare to be not likely bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip drive. Shit. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go.
You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Huh. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my... We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun... Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the ex... Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by... The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Can you 
here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice land. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these... Really? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive med- We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting... You know what? You're... Here we go. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogate. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your... Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept... Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameter. High-capacity power regulators are set. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I have best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time.
first area, the speech checks are really easy. I don't remember seeing anything above 30, with most of them being fives. Really easy first area, upgrading your weapons or sooner rather than later skills to boost, I would personally pick Leadership to make sure we can get Inspiration 60 sooner rather than later, and then probably Stealth. You won't have to worry about upgrading also you note if any of the other maps that finish up character creation. Now for the little aptitude perfect jab hit level 2 when you get to the unreliable, basically the very first tutorial mission part. Now I would recommend getting the tech and dialogue skills up to 22 first, at levels 2 and 3. Then If you're equipped, I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs... To you now, Captain. Help yourself. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your sh because you sure walked in it. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe space a sh Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report.
Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. You talk too pretty for a m Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low... Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all... Definitely not the junior... If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Something I can do for you? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, you'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah?
If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. No place for a traveler. Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? I don't have time for this. I appreciate the company and all, but you really... Because I'm in about... I don't... Maybe you don't know this. Don't. Please. That's kind of you. Company always tells us. I really... I'm feeling a touch faint. Please don't touch... Physical hygiene... No, thank you. That's quite all right. I'm Conrad. You will also... A ship? I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit. Corro... Vicar Maximilian. Our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Ah, gravesite. I... I With tell Silas Frank, not a bad your idea in Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Whoa, uh...
You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking in... Silas, no. Sounds like he's already told you. I'm dying. I'm not... It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. There's a cache of anthracil and tuck. I need you to. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin. Of More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy. You will not find any. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise step. So you'll. You oblige me with your hate. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me. I'm Esther Bl Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town. How do I put this gen- I pro- All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. That's all. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. How do you feel? Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal invest. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just what? If this is a... I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater in the entire region of Emerald Vales. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relative? You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to... Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of... Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells... I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so... Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. 
Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else. As long as... I've been feeling pretty low these days.